Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. There was a magnitude 2.7 earthquake there in Washington along the area of Oak Harbor. This was more than likely along the Tacoma fault line, which runs into uh, the Seattle fault line. And I've talked about the Seattle fault line, which is down here, down here by Chojam Hill and goes from east to west. It's capable of a magnitude 7 earthquake or um, the energy produced could cause more damage than a magnitude 9 along the uh, Juan de Fuca fault line. Yeah, very significant, this uh, 2.7. On Wikipedia, they have an image of the Tuoma fault line and showing its branches that go down. According to Wikipedia, it appears as that the Tacoma and Seattle fault converge at a depth, um, and it has a diagram, it says, um, in a way that north-south compression tends to force the Seattle uplift and resulting in the dip-slip movement on both faults. It's been hard to identify the different fault lines in this area because of urban development, vegetation, and natural erosion. The Seattle Fault was first recognized as a significant seismic hazard in 1992 when a set of reports showed that about 1,100 years ago, it was a scene of a major earthquake of a magnitude 7 and the event that entered Native American oral legend. The Seattle-Tacoma Fault are probably the most serious earthquake threat to the populous Seattle-Tacoma area. A 2002 study of bridge vulnerability estimated that a magnitude 7 earthquake on the Seattle Fault would damage approximately 80 bridges in the Seattle-Tacoma area, whereas a magnitude 9 subduction event, that would be the Cascadia Juan de Fuca uh, Fault, would damage only around 87 bridges in all of the western Washington. So they feel that this area is more dangerous than the Cascadia one for loss of life and damage to infrastructure. Felt reports were all the way down to Seattle and Vancouver up here towards the north and Oak Harbor. Could it be a foreshock for something much larger? Any earthquake has a 5% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. Hopefully everyone there is prepared. Um, hopefully you got a plan to get out. For those of you that do survive, uh, yeah, it could be very devastating. And I really feel that we do have a large earthquake that will be coming um, sometime in the future. So did you feel this earthquake? Evidently only five people reported feeling it. Um, what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe. Always be prepared for a disaster. God bless you all, and I'll talk to you later.